I am going to go over a video today to show you how you can use Clever to launch an app for students. Um, so first of all, you would have to have um, your own page for your classroom, which looks like this on Clever. And this page allows you to add apps um, that the district already has, or you can also have links added um, to your page. So once you do that, you can also see when students have logged in. So um, you will see that in a little bit. So this right here that you can see on my screen is currently the teacher view. Okay, so I'm going into my class page and as you can see there on the left, I have a list of my students and if they have a green check mark, that means that they are currently logged into Clever. So what you want to do is have them all go in and log into Clever and you can refresh the status up there where it says refresh status. Once you have all the students logged in, then you can move forward and go ahead and click on login tools, then go to launch an app. Now pick one of the apps that you would want to launch. I'm going to click on the agenda. Okay, and it says it's successfully launched. Now I am on the student view here. So this is uh, logged in as a student and we're going to see what happens now that I clicked launch an app. And there it is. So a tab opens up because that student was logged into Clever and the app that I wanted is now launched on that student's screen. So this would be great um, if you're having difficulty, especially with the younger students, on how to get them to open certain links that you want them to open. This way you can open it. And I've tried it with my students personally and for the most part, um, all students did get the app launched. I maybe had one student that did not, and I'm guessing that they must have logged themselves out of Clever, or they didn't shut down their computer, so it said that they were logged in, but they really weren't because it was a new day. So I would say make sure they refresh Clever and everybody's logged in before you try launching an app, but this could save precious amount of time when you are trying to have the students open another tab or go to a specific link because you can do it for them all the way from wherever you are teaching.